Hello friends, welcome back. It is Captain Cowboy here with another video. Today we're going to be playing Iron Throne, and with Iron Throne, I want to make a f my first guide, my first real guide on this game. been playing it for about a week and a half now, two weeks actually. Um, so I think it's time to make the first video, and what better way to make a first video than crafting, because crafting is your gear, your gear, your stats, and stats is the name of the game. That's how it is with almost every MMO game. However, this game in particular as well. Uh, you can attain stats mostly from your equipment as well as research. And there's a couple little odd en ends here and there from your buffs, which is a great way to get some stats for short periods of time. Your daily town quest is also another great way. Killing heroes by executing them, it's an expensive way to get some stats, but it does help if you have a nice um, high level prison. So let's it's go a good temporary. It's a good temporary way to also set back other people. So if you're in a war with another alliance, it's a great way to set them back because every time you execute a hero, they have to pay to get it back, either gold or XP, or they have to get a specific item that helps revive that hero. And if they don't have one of those, then they lose the hero. And by losing the hero, they cry and are set back significantly. Yeah. So with our crafting guide now, nice and easy. We're gonna make this really cut and dry. So, we're looking here at our level 40 gear. We have the Mask of Slaughter. We have all of the entire Slaughter gear. So you'll notice there's three materials. You have two materials on the left, and then we have this right material. This right material is called Blood of the Slaughter. This is called the Rare Material because it is the common material. Here I'm s clicking through all of the different pieces of equipment we can craft, and you'll notice that we have the Blood of Slaughter in every single one of them. So it's the hardest to attain. It is the most common, so it is required in each piece of slaughter gear. So with that regard, it is the hardest piece to attain. So I want to go ahead and take a look at Outcry, as I'll be able to open up and uh, craft a couple pieces of Outcry for you all tonight, um, just so that you can actually see what I'm actually doing, the decisions I'm making, so you can make very similar decisions on your own account. So we have a couple chests here, and we're going to go ahead and open them up, looking through all of our equipment. And I also have some majestic chests, so we'll open those up as well. Alright, so let's go back to the set codex and scroll down to our outcry set. So here we have our outcry set. Again, same thing. We have two materials that are going to be shared. So the helmet, the hood, and the breastplate share materials. So these two left materials, the bones and then this like little brick thing, are the same materials in both the hood and the breastplate. And you'll also notice that this seal of outcry is also in the same place. It's also in every single equipment. Now, the bow and the quiver share materials as well, and then the necklace has materials by itself. So, first steps first. What we want to do is we want to give ourselves the best opportunity to get immortal gear. Now, you always want to craft immediately into the immortal gear. By doing so, this is one, the cheapest route, two, it's the most efficient route, and three, you get the highest stats from your gear, you get extra benefits if they are all in Immortal. So, Immortal is orange, Epic is purple. We're going to go ahead, go to our lowest rarity, this is the gray, the dark gray. We're going to hit Group and Buy. This will bring up all of our materials automatically to the highest grade possible. It takes four materials of a lower grade to get to the next higher grade. So we're going to go through and we're going to do this on all of our materials across the board. Now you'll notice I wasn't able to get enough materials to get an orange material here, so that's going to be problematic for me, as I will not be able to utilize that equipment in order to create any pieces. However, let's take a look at our Bow of Outcry and see if we might not be able to have some better opportunities with crafting this gear. Right off the bat, we already have enough to get a couple pieces of the bone quiver so we'll probably be utilizing that as a major focus for tonight and then possibly this necklace so we'll go ahead and group, group combine all of these <coughs> you will notice I skipped over uh, the breastplate and the quiver because they have the same materials alright so now we have all of our materials ready to go so, you will notice that on the bottom here, it has a craft accessory. We have 40% on this necklace. 
to get immortal with a 60% to get epic. Now, I highly, highly, highly suggest that you do not craft at this percentage rate. Especially with level 40s, you would only want the lowest you would want to craft with is with an 80% immortal on your necklace or your ring, depending on what type of gear you're crafting. With all the other the pieces, only uh, with all the other pieces, you want to craft with a 60% immortal chance rate as a minimum, with a 40% chance of an epic. Go ahead. The the only time you want to craft 60 and 80 percent on immortal as opposed to 100 percent across the board is if you have the two or three non-shared resources i.e the non-rare resource so with outcry it's the blood of slaughter or sorry with slaughter it's the blood of slaughter with outcry it's the seal of outcry etc so now as long as you have a lot of the other resources so say the first two you have four and the second one you only have one of the immortal you're going to turn that one immortal into four purples. And by having four of those at purple, which is epic, that's going to allow you to now craft that item four times at 60 or 80% as opposed to crafting that one time at 100%. So now that's going to give you a greater chance of having more pieces of gear. Awesome. Thank you for that. So now I'm looking here at my gear to determine which pieces are going to be best for me. I already have the gear crafted. I already have two full sets. So now I'm just looking at enhancement levels, and now we can look here, I already have the Bow of Outcry crafted. I will be going up 15% of my Archer attack with a couple other stat increases across the board. Now when I do this, it costs a lot of silver, and it costs one crafted piece of this Bow of Outcry. And now, I, uh, I believe I have a almost full set that is enhanced plus one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to debate, okay, do I want to go ahead and take off this necklace of outcry, take it off of this hero, and throw it onto my main hero to get a full plus one set. Now, that is exactly what I'm going to be doing because I already have a purple piece of necklace of outcry that I'll be utilizing in that place that I'll on my backup deputy hero. So the deputy hero gives you a 10% increase. So if you don't have the immortal set it's not going to kill you in stats um obviously if you're going to be neck to neck with someone else it could make the difference but for me it's not the end of the world i have that same piece i believe is on freitas um <clears throat> or it's missing i don't know where it is um that's also another possibility i know one of my heroes has that yep right here she has my necklace that i need so i can go ahead and put that on my deputy and now my deputy will have a better stat bonus. Now, we have a full plus one set, but I also have two pieces of the armor and the helmet that are immortal that I can probably eventually put into my main piece and then replace that with an epic piece. So, we could go ahead, go to our set codex, and we can look at our outcry set. So, we want to look for, you know, the best opportunities to craft. So, with that information given, our best opportunity to get an immortal piece is going to be from our bow and our quiver. With my necklace, with my breastplate, and with my hood of outcry, the odds of getting that crafted piece at immortal are not good enough to be able to justify crafting this. So, with that regard, I would hold off for this. Now, my needs are different from someone who might be crafting this for the first time. So, depending on what your needs are, you know, this can change for you. However, I want you to keep in mind, if you ever have any questions with what to do, what to be purchasing, don't hesitate to reach out to me. You can hit me up online. Um, Discord is probably the best way because it is a lot of information to get across. Texting would take forever. Um, I will also be offering account guides in the future with this game, so stay tuned for those if you would be interested. Um, but yeah, we're also looking here at our Majestic piece, and it's looking a lot of the same, where our odds of crafting at the Immortal are not high enough to justify the cost. Now something that you might see on a regular basis would be Berserker, where here we have a 60% chance of crafting this one piece. Now we do have the rare material at immortal so normally I would go ahead and demote that to epic and I would take my chance on crafting with perhaps a 
lower chance, like 80%. This is what I want to see when I go ahead and craft, and that's exactly what I would do. So I'm going to go ahead and craft that, because I know I'm going to have a really good chance of getting it at Immortal. Now, if I fail, the cost to bring it up from Epic to Immortal is not worth the cost to enhance, so the cost to craft initially. So it's something that you would want to keep in mind in the future. If you ever have any questions, again, don't hesitate to ask. This is Kevin Cowboy. This is just a really basic general guide on crafting. I hope this answers a couple of your questions that you might have had coming into this video. Thank you all for watching. Don't forget to hit keep, that subscribe button. Go ahead. Keep in mind, if you have any further questions, you can always reach out to us and we can do some one-on-one -on -one time. We do offer these services and we would basically go through and we could figure out everything that you have and the best path to move forward and that would include all of the mathematical equations involved in figuring out every single best possible option to craft the gear that you're looking for to move forward on your account and to grow big and strong and to crush the kingdom and all of your enemies. Beautiful, Swag. Thank you for your input there. That is what I got for you, buddy. Thank you.